So I skipped a little bit of stuff. I'll show it at the beginning of the video as I talk. I built a defensive wall. Built this little stone structure. This took so much time that I figured I'd just kind of skip through it. Just to kind of get the start of the base going so you guys can see, you know, I didn't want to um, make an episode where there's too much progress. We do have a cooking area here. We have one pot going right there. Usually have a Greg going. Greg's fantastic, especially on hard mode. We have some dry racks. These aren't the best, but they're workable. So I think in today's episode, we are going to do some zip line systems as well as get some gear. So I forgot that. I guess Virginia can't come in here. And Calvin, he doesn't like going inside and using the fireplace. He likes doing it next year. Is a cannibal in here? I think he's just dead. Stuck. This is what we're working with down here. Um, I'm going to fill some of that in with stone just so it looks aesthetically pleasing. This, for some reason, can't be removed. Neither can this. As well as this thing up here, which I'm going to just destroy. I'm going to end up destroying. I'm going to put a light on this. And again, I don't know why everything's respawning in my game. I'm playing on hard. No modified settings. No custom settings. And, uh, this stuff shouldn't be respawning. But it is. Everything is, unfortunately. The winter has gone. We did have a zip line going down here to the river so we can collect water. Ooh, hello. I like that. There's still a few herbs I have not got. I have not gotten yet. Um, eventually I think we'll be getting them. We'll pick them up pretty soon here believe <clears throat> what the heck how did I not get that I'm crafted I barely missed that that's a bummer the rain is amazing oh what is this oh a battery battery this is a screen parenting cave look at that look at this textures right here what the heck the f texture of load failure I don't need this battery oh I guess I do my guy just held it we're gonna work our way getting some gear. We're gonna get the pistol, we're gonna get the shovel. Then I believe we're gonna get the shotgun. As well as maybe, maybe we'll get the compound bow. Go back to our old base by the airport. See if we can, uh, or the airstrip I should say. There's not an airport there. Let's see if we can um, get the compound bow. I might not even need to do a zip over here actually. To be honest. Oh, arrow leaf is one of the things I haven't discovered. So let's make our way down. We're just going to grab the pistol. I have a realization that I don't even really need to zip down to the pistol. One plus side about coming down here would be water collectors. Turtles. Anything good in here? Nothing I can use. Oh, that's good. Oh, we got the, uh, got the rail and some ammo. It's going to be good. Now we're going to make our way to... The beautiful, beautiful pistol. I honestly feel like the shark doesn't spawn out here until the first time you reach the raft, and then that shark spawn activa activates basically once you're there the first time. Like, I bet if I sit out here, I might not get it. To I probably will, though, actually. Another theory I had was to put a zip directly to this. I don't know if that's possible. PS locator. Flares in the pistol. Noise. Is it dead? Hope it is. So I don't think we will be able to put a zip directly on this, but let's see. Oh my gosh, it lets you. No freaking way. Oh, I can't because I'm going to go in water and it's going to disappear. Yep. I'm going to deactivate it. Swim, swim, swim. I don't want to get attacked by a shark. Swim. For me, man, I don't know. I, I've conquered a lot of nature. A lot of nature I really enjoy. The ocean is one thing that I haven't fully... Fully been okay about. I mean, I can swim, snorkel, do all that stuff. No problem. But just swimming out at night in the ocean. Things like that. Not my cup of tea. Okay, so we slept the day away. We're gonna save just to be smart. And yeah, you always scare the hell out of me. They're already making effigies out here. 
I want to get a turtle. We really need to get a turtle for the turtle shell for the base. We'll have to see though. We will have to see if there's any turtles out here. Should be. So another reason I got the pistol first is it's going to help me in the shovel cave. Shovel cave for me is a nightmare. It's a lot better than it was when the game first launched, but it's still so bad. Still so bad. I should have had a night five. I really should. I do want to get a secondary pot as well. Or the... Uh, for camp, just so I can have two things cooking at a time. Eventually, I might do like four things cooking, but I don't know. Do not know. We also need to get the modern axe. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit up the shovel cave. Get the shovel. Go get the modern axe. From there, we'll get the shotgun as well. We'll just bang out getting a lot of stuff. I'm sure there's going to be plenty fighting this episode, which is exciting. We haven't done much fighting. We've mainly done a lot of building. This is random. I've never seen this. What is this? The dead deer. They need to have more stuff like that. They need to have that more in the game. Little little things that you can find. There's a few things like that on the other side of the map. Dead guys and goodies on them and things like that, but not much. Not much. There's some grave sites, burial sites, things like that, but not too many things, man. This deer. <coughs> Are you kidding me? He took two of my spears. You're gonna take two of my spears. Come on. That's bogus. We might as well do this while we're here because we're gonna need this. It's like how we get our water. We'll go to. Let's see, can we open this? We don't need any of it. Yeah, this is the thing that I'm like, ah. Oh. It's like the thing I'm bummed out about is the ability that these re the respawn. It kind of sucks. Then we're gonna go up to there. And now we have um, perfect zip. Yeah, I guys, I don't know if you guys n saw in the last episode, I don't think I put it in, but we got a bunch of ro uh, rock storage here. We also got all these log storage, which I believe you guys saw. And I just had Calvin fill these while I was building this house. And it was so easy. It was honestly really easy. And we're going to go on an adventure. I'm not too thrilled about. But let's do it. Let's go. Let's make our journey. We should get two night fives, really. Honestly, I have two night fives. One just to have that base and one to just cruise around on. Oh, shovel cave it is. Yep, this is a shovel cave. We're going to get the slingshot right here. Get some good rope. Actually, a decent place to set up. Nice. A decent place to set up a uh, zip line. Because there's so many items. Right here on the ground. oxygen tank down here if you guys didn't know my first playthrough I didn't even know I didn't even know there was one so there is a barrier here that you technically can't jump across but once you have zipped it once you're able to actually jump it it's a way for the game to prevent you from getting over here without the zip with the zip gun is this cave even possible without the rebreather oh it is not no oh, man how did you forget that how did you forget that, oh man? You're an idiot. Guess we're rebreather cave is where we're going. And we're gonna go right into the cave. Not too thrilled about this, guys. Not too thrilled about this. This cave has a lot of goodies in it. A lot of goodies. Layers, which I don't need. That pistol ammo. I think the heavens. Nice. New location entertainment bunker. There's a pamphlet. Easier to see without the light. Puff Corp outbids Sahara Therapeutics for Island. So part of the story, if you guys don't know, Puff Corp and Sahara, Sahara, which is the company from the first title, they were in a bidding war for what I presumably believe to be this island. And won. And that's why we are here. Well, this is where there's a ton of skinnies. A ton of skinnies and a few fingers. Oh, that scared me. What's up, boys? There's the fingers. But that thing landed in the water. Yeah, see how it landed in the water and it didn't do anything? Why is it so weird when I throw this? See how it's like invisibly teleporting to light? 
Nice, if, uh, nice, the fingers is dead. Did I get my spear? There we go. What's up, guys? What's up? There's another fingers? Oh. Do some damage to him like that. Come on, bring the, kite the fingers over here. Wow, the fingers aren't too bad. Don't come up here. Don't come up here. I'm just getting some armor, dude. Just getting some armor. So in multiplayer, if you and your, if you and whoever you're playing with skin at the same time, you both will get creepy armor out of the same guy. So it's good to do that. Just basically one, two, three. You both hold E, and you guys will skin the same guy at the same time, and each get a creepy armor from a guy. Is very workable. Very good system. We're barely at like the first leg of the first leg of the uh, cave. A decent amount of creepy armor though. This is a great place to save too. After you clear out that first room, at least this is where I always save. Put that in. I have this weird thing where I do not like seeing all these tents in the game. Like there's really nothing I can do with the fact that you're gonna have all these save points because if you don't you're just gonna die and you have to reload i hope i went the right way if not we'll just turn around oh i came out of nowhere get away get away you are annoying dude get him while he's standing stand on his head the hell? In this guy? Creepy armor, man. It's so easy to come by. Nice. I want to take him out before I deal with the fingers. Oh, I forgot. If you if you hit the uh, legs of the fingers, it like fully demobilizes them. Like they will drop to their knees like that. Instantly. With the spear, with the axe, whatever it may be. Go for the legs. I forgot about that. Just go for the legs. And, um, you'll be able to just, they'll drop to their knees, hit them a few times, and then they'll get up, and you can keep redoing that. Stun gun ammo? Okay, yeah, so we did go the right way, because the stun gun is going to be here soon. I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to eat this. Eat first before you drink, always. Some foods will ruin your thirst. I'm doing this to get my stamina up, though. The hell up and she dance all night and she done on night. How many spear hits does it take to kill a baby? One. Ooh. The leather jacket is in here too. There's the blob. I didn't know the leather jacket was in here too. Finally got the stun gun. Nice. Got some Molotov. How did I get? Yeah, I got the leather jacket somewhere else. And now I have it here. What I'm going to do is go back to that yield. That's another good thing. What you do is you... Making a save point at that yield over there. Allows you to... Now when you circle back to the yield, you just save again. Have all of this saved. And, um... Then you're good. Like, this whole area is done. Everything's killed. Everything's done. Okay, guys, I think I'm finally getting confident enough in the caves again. Because I haven't played in so long, and I just recently started going to the caves, and it freaked me out. And now I feel confident again in the caves. This is, I believe, that big room that, like, has nothing really in it. Except for, like, one item. It's like a box or something. But it's just a huge room. It'd scare you, basically. I know there's guys in here, though. It's, we made it to the rebreather, ladies and gentlemen. So I think the shark has, I think this shark's spawn in here has been fixed, if I remember correctly. Nice bones, MREs. Another thing for you guys, I mean, this is very common. If you can't pick it up, just eat it, just drink it, whatever it may be like this. I could have picked it up, but my sleep is low and I'm not going to sleep in this cave, so. Nice. 
no music with that one. We are definitely, definitely, definitely going to kill this shark with, with uh, nothing. I don't have anything to kill it with. I have a grenade. Will it go off? Did it die? No, it did Come on, shark, where are you? Too bad you can't jump and land on that floaty. Can you light a shark on fire? That's like, why am I even thinking of this as a thing? So stupid. I'm literally gonna throw a Molotov cocktail into a gigantic body of water, assuming I can light a shark on fire. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Did I kill him? Yes. I think I made it worse on myself with these, uh, flares. Yeah, the way out should literally be right here. This is the way out. Went the completely wrong way. Okay. Imagine doing this in real life. Like, you're just on an island. You're like, okay, I'm gonna go into this cave and then put on this scuba gear and just swim through this thing that I've never swam through with nobody with me. And I'm gonna just assume that I'm gonna be safe. I'm in the ocean. We're gonna go over here and save. I hate that you have to take the rebreather off manually. Where is it? Whip. I just, I think it's like, why? Why do we have to do that? Yeah, and we have the rebreather, we have the stun gun, we got everything we need. Nice. Now we can go journey to the shovel cave, but before we do that, we're gonna make our way over here and we're gonna grab the machete. Machete. And if we're lucky, we'll be able to find a turtle. We still haven't gotten water collector. Still haven't gotten a damn water collector. Look at that log. Whichever way you kick is, whichever way it's gonna move. Watch. I'll kick it this way. Now it's forever gonna go that way. What the hell is that? What the hell is that all about? I guess it's called Driftwood for a reason. So this is a location of one of the uh, video footages. One of the videos that you find. That is a location of it. I really hope there's a night five over here. Really do. I can't be running like this. Don't want to be running. Do you not want to be running? I do want to get the camo outfit for Virginia. That is my favorite outfit for her. Which is pretty close by. So if there's a night five here, we will run. Now we have the machete. Oh. We're getting so much gear this episode. I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More grenades, more grenades. And a pot. We got another pot. Let's go. We're duct taped too. Stun gun ammo. That's pretty good. So I'm talking about with the easy traversal with the rope gun. I did that. They just make traversal easier, I suppose. It's not... If you can get it down quick, like boom, and then boom, and then do it, you can do it quick enough, it's worth it. If you can't do it quick, not worth it. You end up wasting more time trying to aim and shoot this thing. Yay, I went the right way, I went the right way. What you could even do that might be easier is shoot where you want to go first and then shoot right next to you. Binoculars, I forgot the binoculars were here too. Nice. These things will be the death of anybody. These things are the death of anyone. Stupid. I don't care if I lose my thing. Nice, 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 nice. let's go. Ooh, and then there's a 100% should be a night five here. Okay, hey, cool. We got what we wanted, we got what we need, and we're gonna be on our way. Do now go to the shovel cave it is. I do not know why I didn't bring mine from base. Would have been smart of me. Oh, I forgot about this little area. A good zone for materials, bones and everything. A lot of cloth, a lot of bones. The mass grave. The mass grave. Oh money, 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 money. And burying him with his money like the Egyptians. They didn't necessarily bury him. Well, I, yeah, they didn't really bury him with money. They just built, buried him with goods. Things that they can use in the afterlife. Like the Vikings. Buried a lot of their treasure. So they have something to present in Valhalla. Like a Viking nut. I love Viking stuff. Um, which way do we need to go? We need to go straight. Bye, man. I know you're pretty aggressive and you want to fight me, but you're not going to. I'm leaving. Even. There's also a guy somewhere leaning against a rock over here. I think he's down there to the right in the field. Oh my gosh, this is a motorboat, dude. 
Cannibal that has a motorboat usually. Make it? Yes! And crash, but I made it, but I made it, but I made it. I don't need him. I don't need to fight him. Don't need to fight him. Don't want to fight him. Okay, now we're kind of back where we were, which is grid. Grid, which is grid. Now we're going to be in the open beach. Just go flying. Is that Virginia? Yeah, that is. How you doing, honey? What are you doing? Get your ass back to base. I'm actually kind of proud of the devs on this game because how fast the night five goes, I don't experience lag all that much. Like as much as you would think. So is this... This is an old base I did. Oh my gosh. The old base I did. Holy moly. Let's go. So there's still one herb I haven't found. One herb I still haven't found. How you doing, lady? Having a nice stroll in the, uh, in the woods? Very nice. Very nice. Well, here's a little area we can go to. The moose over here. What is over here? Night five. Anything else? Does this actually have a battery indicator? I think it does. Making our way now. We're making our way. Oh, almost missed that turn. Nice to stay on trails. So much easier to maneuver. That's a good build spot. I love that build spot. Before those bodies were there. I remember I built there. A long time ago. On the, uh, right before the update for those guys. And, um... You freaking... Why did you just seek me out? Why did you just seek me out, bastard? I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. Next episode, as you guys can see, we're at the shovel cave. What we're gonna be doing is get the shovel. We're gonna get the shotgun. We're gonna go into more bunkers. And I think it's just gonna be a bunker journey and just try to get gear, get different key cards, different outfits, and we'll start venturing in. And then later on, we probably will get more into building. I know this episode is a little bit longer, but I like fitting a little bit more in. It's kind of easier. I have so many episodes going out that I think it'd be better to do a little bit longer of episodes. I appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, drop a like on the video as it helps me and the channel grow. Subscribe for all things Sons of the Forest and everything open world survival crafting. And as always, guys, stay happy, stay hyped and have a beautiful day.